You are the chosen one. Hello again, everyone. Once again, this is Korean with Choose One Studios. As you'll recall, last time on Ace 4, Mask of the Sun, we just gotten ourselves this brand new scale armor, tall war, and kite shield. Pretty spiffy, huh? You know you're thinking it. So, with that said, it's time for us to continue on with the journey. We'd only just arrived here, so... Yeah, those two shops were connected. It was sort of cool in a weird way. I only dig the shop theme. Hmm, they even have houses where the shopkeepers built into their shops. It's so incredibly cool, this game. And the game series as a whole. I have nothing to say to outsiders. Really? But I'm an insider if you... Like... You're a so you're a traveler. Don't speak to me. Oh. But I want to speak to everyone. No, where could you have gone, Chovy? Hmm. I could help you find your Chovy. Just don't call me an outsider. See here, I'm a traveling merchant. Won't you buy something? Let's see what you've got. Just in case. Oh wait, we don't have an herb currently. Let's buy that herb. Alright, so we're all nicely herbed and antidoted up. It's the hospital. Please keep quiet. Alright. It's the hospital. Please keep quiet. Okay, your clone downstairs told me that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Being healthy is the best way to be. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. All of the shop, oh, rather all the hospitals all have copy-pasted people. A little dull, but what are you going to do? This is Highland, the village on the plateau. How perceptive of you. This is a place that serves God. Not for one who carries a sword. Hmm. But I kick ass for the Lord. Dot, dot, dot. You look very tired, Traveler. That bottle... It washed up from the ocean in hysteria. Eh? It floated up to hysteria? It's impossible for it to go that far. My name is Lisa. I sent that letter. Thank you for coming this far. I'm sorry. Well, I sent the letter, but... There are too many things I don't understand myself. I get confused. Even now, I can't tell you much. Really, I'm sorry. Do you know of the great Sage of Celsetta? I want to go see him. Cross the bridge to the divine area of thunderstorms. Pass there, go through the mountain pass. Erm, um, please promise me this? Don't go inside the divine area. That place is ancient. To approach it for no reason is an invitation for calamity. Interesting. So, we've now met Lisa, the second of the women idols run into in this journey, and we can bet we'll be falling for him. People aren't any nicer, but at least, well, yeah, Traveler, you'll want to forgive the villager's rudeness, but to them, being an outsider, worse yet, a swordsman, is a detestable existence. It would be best to leave quickly. I guess I can't really blame him. Bad omen to them and all that. See here. Rrr. Woof woof woof. Chubby. Woof. Rawr. Ah, bone. Must be that dog's. So I shouldn't move it. Otto is such a sweetheart. So? That's a weird loading screen, really. But here we are. The divine area of thunderstorms. It's raining. And there are trees. Large trees. And snake people! Yay, snake people! Also, we do a fair amount of damage to them already, unlike the previous areas where we've started out feeling a little bit weak. Oh yeah, the thing about those guys is you want to watch out for those ah, orbs they shoot out. They also teleport around, as I recall. Ah, trees. Trees are always such a nuisance to fight in video games, as they're quite a powerful force of nature. As they should be. 
also, don't worry about the lightning or the rain. It's just there for effect. It actually has no in-game effect. Uh, whoa! That flower always had me fool him to think it was part of the background. Damn. Did a rather good job of moving with me, too. That's the one thing about the enemies in this game. Since they can move diagonally, they can react to your movements a lot better than you can react to theirs. And this is scripted, or I would be terrified. But Otto flies away. And you could say Team East is blasting off again. Uh. Where am I? Could it be the Divine Area's castle? Hmm. We'll have to find out. This area is definitely ominous. What's this? Lord Gruder. It's arranged at the cave. The matter of Lemnos. I know. I hear Adel was also defeated. Feh. With Thami's magic and all, he must be dead. Maybe I'd better go and smash him with his axe to make sure. Bam. Like that. <laughs> just thinking about it makes my heart dance. You're just as savage as ever. Why must I be teamed up with a man such as you, I wonder? Lord Gruder appreciates things of beauty. Such as myself, for example. You might be better off if you were turned into a demon. As you've got the mind of one, what this woman? What? You intend to fight me? Stop. What can we do if we fight amongst ourselves? We will see Lord Eldeel soon. What becomes of Lemnos and the like is nothing to me. It is best that we drive the company at the Wind Village mad. If we do that, we have a chance at those guys. It's not as if taking the Mask of the Sun hasn't made things easier, either. Well then, before we join Eldeel, the fact that we were the Roman Empire's mages should be kept secret from him. If he knows of such a betrayal, he won't trust us. The benefits of joining out Eldeel are vastly greater than Romans. Understood, Lord Gruder. Lord Gruder's wisdom is the greatest in the world. You are far removed from those who merely have power, right? Why, you... Will you stop? You kept me waiting. Lord Eldeel, so you were waiting for us. What I wanted to report is... Something about a man called Lemnos, yes? You will tell me of your plans. It is as you say. It is also a strategy to achieve our aims. Oh, oh. Well, is this also a plan of yours? And... Oh, hi, Otto. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. Damn this guy. Who are you? I see. So you are Otto. I may have treated my darling monster... I see you have treated my darling monsters with great care, boy. You have blackened my noble village with mud. Visage with mud. You... I'll give you your just desserts. <laughs> Let me have some fun. And poor Eldeel. Er, not Eldeel. Poor Otto. Made the mercy of Vami, Gruder, and whatever the blue haired one's name is, I forget. You can't move in this Oh, you can move! Well, that's right. But it doesn't matter what you do, because they just annihilate you. They're entirely too powerful for you at this stage of the game. And that's kind of the whole point. This is just brutal. Even for 16-bit style, this is brutal. Freakishly brutal. Lisa, Lord Eldeel, I cannot meet with you anymore. Lord Eldeel, have you really completely changed? I want to meet you once more, to be certain. 
I can only believe in myself. Myself alone. Lord Eldeal. <sighs> oh, Adol. I said this would happen. These injuries are terrible. Left like this, you'll die. So, Eldia is one of the winged ones, if you didn't notice his back. He's got a couple of wings, just like Rhea and Fina. Interesting, wouldn't you say? Wait, Lisa. That man, did he go to the Divine Area? Don't bring him into the village. Those who defile the Divine Area are not allowed. That is the rule of this village. That's right, we cannot allow it. Get out of the village. Don't permit this. Get out. Please wait. That it, this is the person I called. Besides, he had no reason to go to the Divine Area. It seems he was struck by lightning on the plane. Huh? Honestly? Huh, okay. Don't let him go to the Divine Area. Honestly, what must you think of the Divine Area? Well, Lisa says she called him, so it can't be helped. So now, finally, the people of the town don't want to kill me quite so bad. Whew, and that's what I call a splitting headache. Or a splitting white up. Uh. Thank goodness I was worried. I told you not to go to the Divine Area. I beg you, please don't go there again, okay? Take this medicine. When I found you in the castle, I thought it was already too late. I... Unlike other people, I am allowed to go into the Divine Area. I can't tell you any more for now. Er, what kind of being is that masked one with the wings? I'm sorry. I know what they said. But forgive us. I apologize for those people. I'm sorry. Please forget what you saw at the castle. I beg you. Please don't approach the castle. And being Otto, do you really think we're going to listen to that? Please don't approach the castle. Sorry, lady. Can't be helped. A traveler. Yeah. Best leave quickly. Because swordsmen, well, we're grave robbers. That area is sacred to them. But we don't really have anywhere else we can go if you haven't, well, paid attention. So, we've got to go north again. But after just one moment, as I'm having technical difficulties with the cover that keeps my mic from making all of my T's and P's hard sounds that pop. So, with that nice and fixed, sorry about that, I'd also like to apologize for the right, bright red flashing. But to make up for it, I have a clip from Dawn of East, the anime version of 4, that never got made of Gruder, Vami, and the other guy. through the divine area of thunderstorms. Ah! Don't want to get killed by trees because I walked into another one. So this area, I do like the special effect to it. It has a weird rain layer, though. Rain does kind of feel like it walks with you a little, I guess, but this is just a little bit overkill. But that's fine. You also notice that those guys disappear. They always reappear in the same spot. So you can line yourself up with them and be sure to kill them when they reappear. I don't know what the explanation for them is, but they're bit enemies anyway, and they don't have bios like they did in, well, for example, Felgana. So it's you know, something we're going to have to worry about. Die trees with a giant eye in the middle of your trunk. This is one of those places where it's hard to, you know, it's easy to feel safe in a way that makes you heal, um, or stand still to try to heal, and then all of a sudden you're swarmed by trees. So never leave this game without pausing it. That should be obvious, but just in case. 
we're going to want to stick to the left side of the map, because on the left, there's a doorway back to the Divine Area Castle. Right here. We can't do anything here, the door's locked, and those guys are freakishly powerful. But, marking that place off will make this game a little bit easier near the end. Not in a cheating way, but in a sort of... Oh, well, wasn't that useful sort of a way. Trust me, you'll understand when we get there. But for now, we're looking for a cave. And not just any cave, but a cave with a treasure chest nearby. And we're going to pick up a little something special before we head into that cave. The cave shows up, and then we have the treasure chest. We have gotten Topaz Jewel, no plot significance. At least I'm pretty sure there's no plot significance for that item. Sort of like the golden pedestal in East 1, that I totally never hinted would be useful in a future game. Maybe one that included locations from past East games. Hint! Alright, so now it's time to head in here. But as you'll notice, it's still one of those places that you don't heal just from walking into. That's because this is the Ice Cave. Before we get too deep in here, I'm going to walk out really quick, get healed up. Then I will be right back with you. Maybe kill a few things just to get that level. Back in a flash!